Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our March Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxings. As always, we'll be unbagging our variation for the month and then doing a first impressions try on. So if you guys wanna see any of that and more, just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. April starts to merge for Boxy Charm and Ipsy and we're getting all the boxes for the month. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. With that being said, let's jump straight on into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night. Being as transparent as possible, all disclaimers, timestamps, product links, other ways to connect with me, and even referral links, all of those will be mentioned down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out if you guys are interested. If you guys are not familiar with Ipsy, Ipsy is a monthly curated beauty subscription bag. There are three bags to choose from. Today we'll be talking about the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. Then there's the Quarterly Glam Bag X. The Glam Bag comes with five sample to deluxe size products. And yes, that occasionally means a full size product. It retails for $13 a month. And then the Glam Bag X comes with five full size products at $28 a month. Do note there are also some additional taxes and handling fees. So keep that in mind. Each month there's a theme and then you also get a cute little travel bag, no matter which subscription you get. Now do note in a second, we're gonna talk about it. There is the BoxyCharm and Ipsy Merge. So now it's not just gonna be the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus, it is gonna be a variation of the two. So like I said, we'll get to that in a second. But these are the bags for the month. And then the theme is Step Into Your Power. It is Women's Empowerment Month. So hey, hey, all my ladies. To get into the theme a little bit more, guys, it says this month is an all out celebration of women's empowerment. As your biggest allies on the journey to self-expression and confidence, we're giving you everything you need to embrace your unique beauty from a feel-good beauty routine to a community of inspiring women cheering you on along the way. Because when women come together, we're not only powerful, we're unstoppable. And then on the inside, it says, cheers to living your best life. It's time to give new meaning to the term spring cleaning. It's not all detoxing and decluttering. It's also about replenishing what makes you feel like your best self. That is how our card looks for the theme of the month. I like the colors. You guys know I'm, I'm a galaxy girl. I love like all purples, pinks, and blues, all that vibe. So I love this. Now really quickly before we jump into our bags, I just want to talk a little bit more about the merch because in my last video, I did mention to you guys that I'd be letting you know exactly how the boxes are going to be from now on. So yes, Ipsy and Boxy Charm are now officially merging. We're about to hit April. As creators, we are going to get all the boxes, at least for me. So I'm super excited to start on that journey and share it with you guys. For the new merge, Ipsy sent over a gift for us as well. And I'm super excited to share that with you guys. We're not going to be playing with it today, but if you guys do want to see that, let me know in the comments. The Glam Bag is the five deluxe beauty samples personalized for you for $13 a month. You also get 24 seven insider access to unbeatable deals up to 80% off. And there's the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. And that's gonna be the five full size products for $28 a month. You unlock 24 seven insider access to buzzworthy beauty brands like Too Faced, Glow Recipe, Tarte, and more. And then you have the Top Icon box, which is gonna be the quarterly box. It comes with eight uber coveted products curated by beauty's biggest icons worth up to $350 for only $58 a quarter. So that's super amazing. I can't wait to see what we get and how this whole new merge goes about. Now for the nice little gift. First, they did send a little charm. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because I have it hooked onto my phone, but it's a nice little Ipsy bracelet. I'll show you guys a little picture of it. I'll take a picture once I'm done and I'll add it in here. And for the gift they sent over, they sent me the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Cocoa Infused Eyeshadow Palette. So this is a little gift they sent us as a creator. And this is such a gorgeous palette, guys. I can't wait to play with it. Let me know, let me know. Like I said, I, I really can't wait to play with this. It has some beautiful colors, especially that blue. Y'all know I'm into the blues. Um, definitely let me know, like I said, if you wanna see me play around with this. Now let's go ahead and jump into our last Ipsy bags ever before the merge. Of so first we're gonna jump into our Ipsy Glam Bag. This is the one that's $13 a month and comes with five sample to deluxe size products. 
this is the bag we got for the month and i'm in love i think this is my favorite bag so far it looks so futuristic and modern and i don't know i'm just i'm here for it it's so cute here's our little charm and then the inside is just just gorgeous like blue i'm i'm so here for it guys first product we got in our glam bag is the bright wave vitamin c brightening eye cream by kinship this is what it looks like and it's an illuminating eye cream that contains clinically proven actives to brighten hydrate and reduce the appearance of dark circles there's red algae which has amino acids to improve hydration and brighten dark circles vitamin c which is a potent antioxidant that delivers radiance while helping diminish the appearance of fine lines and chaga mushroom an adaptogenic antioxidant that deep puffs and energizes skin this is leaping bunny certified aka cruelty free it's also plant-based gluten-free non-gmo and dermatologist tested next product we got up is the glow on fifth beauty perfect detoxifying mud mask this is what it looks like third product we got up is the tarte cosmetics i think it's supposed to be s and r or sr lash treat mascara um this is a sample size i typically don't like sample size mascaras because the wands are always so short and they're hard to work with for me personally um but we're gonna see how it goes Fourth product up we have is the Hey Honey Make a Splash Intense Hydrating Aqua Serum. This is what it looks like. Just to let you guys know a little bit more about this, it says this lightweight water-based and oil-free water serum serves as a moisturizing booster that releases a burst of hydrating nutrients and promotes cell regeneration. Crafted to promote beautiful aging, smooth, and balanced skin. This sounds like a good makeup primer, so we're gonna see, you're gonna see. And then the last product we have up in our glam bag is the Paranova Lunar Lip Style. Now, at first, I actually thought this was a eyeliner, but it's not. It's shaped just like an eyeliner, though, but it's not. It's actually a lip pencil, a lip liner, I should say. This is in the shade Rocket Ship, and this is how it looks. Just a quick little swatch for you guys. Now moving on to our Glam Bag Plus. This is what the bag looks like for the month. Again, I'm obsessed with the blue and the gradient of the blue with the white. I'm here, I'm here. And then you have the little touch of gold with the drawstring. It just looks so extra fancy this month. And again, the Glam Bag Plus comes with five full-size products at $28 a month. This is the one that will be turning into the BoxyCharm base. So the first product we have is the first aid beauty mineral sunscreen zinc oxide broad spectrum spf 30 this is safe for sensitive skin um i have so many spfs in use right now from just trying out so many because so many of them have tints and like all this cash but again i won't be using this right away because i have so many in use but definitely this will be on my list if you guys have tried this let me know your thoughts and this sunscreen is non-comedogenic if i'm saying that correctly basically it won't clog your pores guys um, as someone who does deal with acne, that's something on my list that's 100%. Like, it needs to be there. No artificial fragrance and dermatologist tested, as well as Hawaii compliant. I believe what they mean by that is it's reef safe, um, so you can use this and it won't affect uh, the waters or the pollution and none of that bad stuff. Next product we have, which of course we're not going to be using because it's skincare again, but the, we have the Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Barrier Support Elixir. This is what it looks like. It's a light, fast absorbing face oil that strengthens the skin's barrier, rich in omega-3 and 6 to help prevent water loss, recovering skin comfort, and a healthier looking complexion. Okay, so that just basically said it. It's an oil. And if it really feels like an oil, this is probably something that I'm not going to use right away because I have so many oils in use and I don't tend to use oils as much even during the winter time uh, because I am more combo to oily skin. Third product up in our Glam Bag Plus, which I'm actually going to test out right now for you guys. We have the Levito Inspired by Nature Musk and Coconut Aromatic Body Lotion. This is made to hydrate, nourish, and protect. Now, I'm big on body care, so I really don't mind getting body care in my bags. I can't wait to use this. We're about to try it out right now. This does also have a 100% recyclable sugar cane tubing. 
so very sustainable and just to show you guys the texture now there was i did open this already so do keep in mind there was a little tab on the top but this is how it looks i like that it doesn't feel like a very thick 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 formula like a greasy heavy one it's definitely still a thick cream but it's not like heavy like you would think it honestly feels kind of like the cocoa butter like the jergens cocoa butter that's the best way i could describe it it smells amazing guys i love this it's not super strong it's not super like fake smelling it's not fake smelling at all it does smell like coconuts and it does have that like kind of muskiness to it if you're into like musky fragrances then you're definitely gonna like this one i think this is gonna be a great body moisturizer as well and i'm someone who deals with eczema on my hands so this feels nice really nice fourth product up in our bag is and I'm so excited for it. The Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I finally got my hands on one Ofra Cosmetics product, which was their Meaty Face It palette, and I'm obsessed with it. I really think I'm gonna be obsessed with this too because I've heard so, 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 so many good things about their liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Pasadena, and this is what the actual inside of the packaging looks like. And there's your color. I think that's gonna pair nice with the lip liner product too. So we're gonna see. The last product up in our Glam Bag Plus is by Wander Beauty. I've tried so, 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 so many of their products and really have enjoyed almost all of them. There's been a few hit or miss products, but I have loved Wander Beauty so far. This is their Sun Kiss Getaway Eye and Face Palette. So I didn't put any bronzer or powder contour on my face i did contour with cream contour and then set my face with just translucent powder but um we're gonna use this to blush highlight bronze and do an eye look with today so i'm excited for it if you guys are then make sure you keep on watching and it is cruelty free and here is your color story i think it is a very neutral and very very basic eyeshadow palette like this is a perfect palette to just have with you on the go if you're traveling a lot and you don't want to do anything too crazy too insane for me i'm i like neutrals but i'm more of a colorful girl i love doing fun colors and eyeshadow looks so for me this is not something i typically buy but it is a nice palette so we're gonna go ahead and check out the pigments when we do our eye look and then i'll let you guys know my thoughts so the first product we're gonna jump into is the Wander Beauty Sunkissed Getaway Palette. First, we're gonna bronze, so I'm gonna go into the shade Costa Ray, which is this one right here. Now jumping into the blush shade, which is Bellini. now just to show you guys the difference this is the one half done with the blush and the bronze and if you guys could tell i'm not sure if the camera is doing justice but that's the side without so far i like it it's giving a nice bronze especially for my skin tone and the blush is subtle but it's definitely buildable we're gonna keep on going and finish this side of my face and then we're gonna get into the eye look. I went ahead and set my base with some concealer. Now we're gonna get into this eyeshadow look. If you guys are interested in full product details, as always, that will be on my Instagram channel when this video goes live at Midnight Moon Makeup. So check it out. First, we're gonna jump into Chateau, which is this darker brown right here. We're gonna use Chateau right on the crease with a very fluffy brush. Still one that's a little dense, and this is the Real Techniques 300 Deluxe Crease Brush. What I like about this palette is you can even use the bronzer as a eyeshadow shade in case you just want to contour the eye out a little bit, um, make it very, make it a very natural look. So that's always a cool thing. And I'm bringing it all the way around to the outer V as well. And now I'm slightly bringing this color up to the brow bone to smoothen everything out and make just everything look very natural. We're gonna go for a very natural look today. Very simple, natural, still kind of glam look with the shimmers. Next, we're gonna jump into Nude Beach, which is this lighter brown right here. 
we're gonna use this along the lid right up to the outer v we're also gonna use it to touch up the brow bone a little bit to make it a little bit lighter up here so everything looks real natural Dusting off and cleaning off our brush, we're gonna go back into Chateau, which was the darker brown that we used. And we're just gonna use that on the outer V again to make everything smooth, make the look come together. So now these are the two shimmers in the palette. And just to show you some swatches, because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I feel like they may be too dark for the look I'm trying to go for right now. This is the shade Yacht. And then this is the shade Bungalow. The formula of the shimmers are, I think, going to be my favorite. They feel really soft and buttery, especially when I just swatch them. They feel like they're going to go on real pigmented. I mean, just look at that. That's very pretty. They look really silky soft and they feel like it too. So we're going to go in with the highlight shade and use that as our inner corner highlight and of course as well as our face highlight. So this is how we're looking so far. I'm just adding a little bit more highlight over the liner to brighten up the inner corner. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into mascara. This is from our Glam Bag, and this is the last treat mascara from Tarte Cosmetics again. Let's go ahead and test this out. This is how the wand looks. so this is the one side with the mascara top and bottom lash i'm not going to be adding lashes because we're trying on the mascara and i want to show you how it looks with the full look honestly i like this mascara also do know i do curl my lashes before any mascara application just because that's a preference my lashes aren't like super curly but they are long so again note that but i feel like this did add some volume and some length also i didn't notice on the wand itself until i started using it that it's a double-sided wand so you have one that kind of defines and lengthens which i believe is the top one the skinnier bristles longer bristles and then the one on the bottom is more for like volumizing adding a little bit more thickness to the lashes so i think that's really cool because you can you have the option of doing either or or both which is what i did i did both because i like that defined look but i also do like the thickness on my lashes so i think it looks good what do you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and then we're gonna jump into the next now product. we're moving on to our second to last product in these bags that we're gonna use today next we're gonna use the paranova lunar lip style again this was in the shade rocket ship and we're just going to use this to line our lips and then we're going to use our ofer cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick the liner was in the glam bag full size product and the ofer cosmetics lipstick is in the glam bag plus i hope the color is gonna go with the lippy because this is already looking like a lighter shade than the ofer cosmetics lipstick but we're just gonna go ahead and try it anyway this is a try on video. So we're gonna do it just like that. This does have like a nice scent to it. It's not like super strong, but it does smell kind of like cocoa butter and chocolate. Like it smells really good though. This feels really soft and comfortable on the lips and you can use this as a regular like lip color if you wanted to and i like this shade of lip liner even to use alone 
um, just for no makeup days or even glam days that I don't want a ton of color for. Again, this is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. So let's go ahead and try this. The moment of truth, guys. It's funny how this lippy actually goes exactly with this uh, lip pencil color. So crazy, but I love it. So cute. The formula already off that feels really soft, really creamy. And honestly, it feels just like the lip pencil. I don't have any product on the middle of my lips from the lip pencil, so I could really like get the feeling of this liquid lipstick and it feels really good. I see what the hype is about and the pigment is really pretty. It seems pretty buildable. I'm actually really, really happy about this because I thought this was not gonna go with the liner. I thought it was gonna be, I thought the liner was gonna be way too light and everything was gonna look off, but it doesn't. But um, this is our final look. That was our last product that we could use in the bag that I wanted to use today. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick close up. I'm just gonna fix my hair up, take these swatches off my hand, and then I'll let you guys know just a little recap of the bags and my final first impression thoughts. <laughs> So finished and final look, we went very natural today. Like I said, everything looks just like a natural glam. Like a, this could be an everyday look. This could honestly be like a look you go to like just a wedding to that you don't want to be super extravagant, but still want to look really nice. So mm, let's get it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really like the eyeshadow palette. Very, again, very basic, but honestly, the look came together so beautiful that I, I'm in love with the palette. So now we're going to get into our recap and final thoughts, first impressions. So for the glam bag, we had an eye cream. We also got a detoxifying mud mask, a mini sample size mascara, a water-based facial serum, and a full-size lip liner. Again, I absolutely love the liner. You guys heard my thoughts on it already, but I'll say it again. Super comfortable to wear. Feels really silky, buttery on the lips. Very comfortable. And it's a great shade, at least for me and my skin complexion, for me to wear bare skin or even like said as a natural glam like this. The mascara, I really, really like. I was actually surprised because I don't like sample size mascaras. Like I said, the wands are always too short and stubby for me to me for me to actually use correctly. But this one I actually was able to achieve a really nice uh lash look. They usually always come out pretty nice, but I feel like this one was just so much easier to use. I like that you can use one or the other side on the wand or both if you want a very dramatic effect to give you a little bit of everything. There's not any curl there, do note that, but there is a little bit of lift. It does help lengthen, define, add volume. Um, very nice mascara. I need to get the full size version and see how it is with the wand. Because um, like I said, I do always like the full-size versions better. So just knowing that I love this, I'm sure I'm going to love the full-size. So that was it for the Glam Bag. On to the Glam Bag Plus recap and my thoughts. So first product we had was a mineral sunscreen. Then we had a facial elixir slash oil. We also got a body lotion, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I can't wait to use this on my body for after post shower care routines and this smells smells amazing i'm a musk girl i love coconut and tropical vibes and musky vibes um i don't i'm not really too picky when it comes to fragrance there are some things that do hit my nose the wrong way but this i absolutely love this and it feels very nourishing on the skin even on my eczema skin on my hands so y'all need this y'all need this we also got a face and eye palette which again I really love this. I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did because I get so many palettes and they're all like kind of the same. So when I get a lot of neutral palettes, I just feel like I, I always have those colors. I have these colors, I don't need it. Um, it's, it's just really basic to me, but I really love how the pigments laid down. Um, the pigments are there. I love, love, love the shade of highlight. Like that's, I think my favorite favorite thing out of the whole palette is the highlight i definitely will be using it more 
but this palette is really nice for a beginner for anyone looking into starting off makeup it's really simple really easy to use or anyone looking for a travel friendly uh face palette that you can do your whole face with and then we had our liquid lipstick liquid lipstick i absolutely love now that i waited for some time for it to dry down um it's not fully dried down i'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be because again i did add the lip liner underneath so it might have made it a little more silky than it was supposed to be but the liquid lipstick feels silky going on it still feels silky but again it could be the mix of the two but it feels really 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 super comfortable on the lips which i'm highly surprised about i've heard so many good things about ofra but it's just like when you try a product that's been so highly raved about and you know not every product is really the rave um it's it's fantastic i love this stuff i need more shades ofra sponsor me please and that wraps up our glam bag and glam bag plus for this month let me know what you guys thought if you guys got any of the uh products i received in my variation again this is just one of the many variations you could receive my variations are gifted to me from ipsy to just share with you guys so do note that mine aren't like curated to me or anything like that you guys will have your bags curated to you but i loved the bags this month i think we did a fantastic look it came out amazing i feel like i haven't done a neutral glam look that i've really loved in a while like i feel like i'm always funky with neutral colors because i just love going into like colorful looks now that when it comes to neutrals i'm just like ugh, what to do but i really love how this came out um i'm obsessed again let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments if you guys enjoyed this tutorial video try on today and want to see more make sure you show your support give me a huge thumbs up and share this video with friends and family to enjoy as well if you're not a part of my galaxy glam squad yet subscribe down below we'll have more of these videos monthly notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads because we will be having the boxy charm base and the lux coming up soon as well as our kiss new york pro boxes um, so, like I said, stay tuned for more makeup looks and tutorials and try-ons. With that being said, I hope you guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are. I hope you guys keep on thriving in a world of beauty. And I'll see you guys back here in my next video. Later, babes.